All right, guys, so I got this 1.8 liter non-turbo Chevy Cruze. And of course, the oil cooler is leaking like they all do. Let's take a look at where it is, what it is, and what all we're gonna do to fix this joker. Probably gonna be a multi-day deal for me because it's raining right now, so. Let's take a look at where it is and what it is. So as you can see, this is the non-turbo. Normally there'd be a turbo here and some intake tubing and whatnot. My intake's over there. 1.8 non-turbo. Do you see oil filter cap right there? The oil filter is under that. That's not the oil filter, but that's that's where you get it off at. The oil cooler is in between the exhaust manifold and the block because GM hates you even more than what you thought they did. They also use all these e-torx bolts, and that's what's even on here everywhere. So you got to buy yourself a special socket set because, of course, you don't have these on the regular. Let's take a look at what it is outside All of the right, car. So outside of the car, this is the new part. This is the oil filter cap that was uh, beside the exhaust manifold that you saw. As you can see, still got these hateful uh, e-torx bits. There's several pipes that run into this. I did also buy a gasket set with new gaskets because I did already have a coolant leak from this deal as well. They should have thought up something better than this. I mean, this is ridiculous. Anyways, let's start changing this. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm not even going to disconnect my uh, O2 sensor down there. I'm just going to unhook it from right here. Just to get it loose. This is already bolted into one of these e-torques. So I'm not so worried about that. There is, I believe, four on the front of this shield. Um, We'll get uh, one of them out and then uh, pick it up after that. So we'll get one out together and then I'm going to uh, do the rest. That's an E12. If that's even showing up. E12. Alright, so if you're anything like me, you want to know where the tops and the bottoms go. So here's the top and the bottom. I go to this shield right here and all right so i lied to you good folks didn't mean to but i'm gonna get the o2 out uh you're gonna need a socket that looks like this or go ahead and get ready to feed yourself a uh bunch of wire through a wrench it just sort of hooks on like that this is a two-handed job and then uh you just untwist it uh, but you'll need something similar to that that's how this one looks that's the one i use um Gonna do the job that way. And now the O2 sensor is out. And remember, I probably should have said this a little bit earlier. You are dealing with a hot, very warm part of the engine. You go spraying PV blaster like I just did, and this is very hot. May not work out so well for you. This is a cold engine. This is not a hot engine at all. So don't think I just sprayed PV blaster on a hot engine. This is not hot. Uh, it's very cold. Uh, let's see if I can pull this off now with little or difficulties. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need both hands. All right, so once that uh, uh, heat shield comes off of there, you've got, I'm not even going to count because I know I'm going to miss some. Uh, looks like four up top. Looks like one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. And then there's two way down there. There's one there. There's another one in there. I'm not sure if it's showing up. This is, of course, the motor's cold. Uh, several of these. You also got to go underneath. And there's two you got to get out from the cat. Uh, or several you got to get out from the cat. I think it's two. I don't know. I'll see in just a second. Um, and I'm not worried about that right this second because, like I said, it's raining. I gotta go get my girls from school. I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow, so I'll probably be in different clothes. We're under the cruise here. Uh, side note, if you ever jack your vehicle, be sure your parking brake is set. So parking brake is set. Three bolts on the cat to the rest of the exhaust system. Uh, 
some of this is PB Blaster, but this over here is oil. It's also coolant that is just dumping out of that cooler. So there's these three bolts. These are 13 millimeters. And there's one, one on the other side, two of those e-torx bolts on the bottom of this cat um, you can see where they're hooked you see that little welded tab right there um, they're connected to that on each side go ahead and take those off uh, we'll pick it back up here in just a second all right so now that the bolts are out you see the inside of the cat that's pretty cool looking in there i like to look at those things it's just a big honeycomb looking thing got a little gasket that you kind of want to worry about be sure if it does fall you know where it goes and goes back on there those two bolts are out that one there and that one there and i'm just going to set them right here so i know where everything goes let's go back up top side now okay because gm is not your friend for whatever reason these are 10 millimeters. So there's one, two, three, four on the top, and then one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. Uh, you're gonna need um, various sizes of extensions, or at least I am using various sizes of extensions to do this. Um, my oil uh, dipstick, I just keep moving it around. All I did was unbolt it from the top, and it's working for me right now. Um, you know, later on, I may have to take it all out, but I just keep, you know, sort of moving it uh, wherever I need it to go. I want to take as little part as possible uh, to get this done. So I'm going to time lapse taking these out. All right, so I was able to get the exhaust manifold off. I did drop one of these and I got to figure out where it's at. In any case, rather than taking the exhaust manifold all the way out, I just set it right there. Setting all right, it's not on anything important. And um, you know, I'm able to get to the oil cooler all the way around. Got several pipes here. This one, this one, that one. There's another one somewhere. I know there is somewhere down there. In any case, you can definitely see that this thing is leaking. She's leaking good. See all the oil. Uh, not sure if that's the gasket or if it's the oil cooler itself. It is definitely leaking, and it was leaking coolant out of this one here as well. Uh, so, so that's picking up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this out and get ready to uh, start putting the new one in. All right, so from here we're going to work our way top down. Uh, the oil cooler is what we're really after, but we also got to get these pipes out. So we're going to start with these. There's two, you can't see the second one that's right there. Two of these hateful e torques. Um, there is not an e torques on this part, but there is one right there with the little slide that actually goes to that little pipe there uh, and these top ones are for uh, coolant uh, also we got to get out this one here which their bolts are right there that's showing up there and there so we're going to get the pipes out or at least the coolant pipes out and I did not get replacement pipes uh, so hopefully these are not cracked or anything uh, but I do get new gaskets for it um, so I'm gonna take out these two bolts those two those two take these pipes out and then take out the second one there we are gonna crack this loose I'm not gonna take it out but I'm gonna crack it loose um, before we take the oil cooler off because it's easier to get the oil filter out uh, when it's uh, like this rather than uh, you know already taken apart All 
right, so from here, you know, we got that, this hose out. I'm gonna leave those two in. We got, uh, what it looks like, one, two, three, four, four bolts to get out. What I like to do is look at the new one, just to see how many we do got to come out. So let's take a look at the new one and then we'll see how many we got to come out. So it looks like I was right. There's four bolts, one, two, three, four and the locations on this one down below so let's get these out and then we're going to leave these hoses with the unit and pull it all out sort of this direction uh in one fell swoop uh, let's go ahead and get that So here it is, all took apart. You can see our gaskets decided to hang out with us. We gotta get those off of there. That's not good. I evidently can't do that with my fingers, or at least one handed. So I gotta get those out of there. There's two gaskets. Probably this one was the cause of our leak here. Uh, and then, you know, of course, coolant is just puking out of the thing. Cause, you know, why not? Take a look at what we got going on down here. This is, of course, the new one, which it included four bolts, but not for some reason the fifth one. The old one, I mean, just look at the color difference in the two of them. Definitely, definitely a big color difference. Uh, in the two of them, I have already loosened it for the uh, oil filter. Uh, it's, it's new. Um, our three pipes. I've got new gaskets uh, to go on there. It doesn't look like anything's too bad, cracked or bent. Um, everything looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and get new gaskets on those, and then just start, you know, putting everything back together. So let's do that. Well, I did leave out a gasket. This one here, which goes right there. And I have a concerning little bump right there. That's picking up a little bit on the concern side about that, but uh, hopefully, hopefully everything seals up. But we'll find out again. Uh, if I have to, I could just always place that one pipe it's not something I want to do but if I have to I will all right now let's time lapse it So I did swap the gasket out in this thing. I'm not sure if that's picking up or not. It is chewed up. I'm not sure if that's showing the gasket that was there. 
is just chewed up. Now let's put this pipe back where it goes right there. Let's time lapse this deal. What do you say? So the oil cooler is bolted all the way back up. All of my pipes and my fittings are bolted up. One thing to note, these two, so there's two here, and there's two more bolts on the other side of this pipe. These are E10s, and all of the bolts that are on the actual oil cooler itself are E12s. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the oil filter now while it looks like it does that where the exhaust manifold is not in the way i'm going to replace the oil filter with the one that was in it because i literally just changed the oil in this thing not too long ago and then go ahead and pull the exhaust manifold back up put the exhaust manifold on there bolt it all up and then we're going to go ahead and put the heat shield on and the um, o2 sensor i'm going to do all of this in time lapse because uh pretty much did everything else um, Lower, so we'll time lapse it going back together uh, hopefully saves a little bit of time and then uh, we'll start this thing up and because I am a child I'm going to hook the exhaust up last and I want to hear what this thing sounds like with an open header so like I said because I'm a child let's handle that Alright guys, so from here we're going to go ahead and fill up our fluids, of course, oil in there. Your water goes up there, coolant, uh, right air fluid, whatever you want to call it, goes right there. There's actually not a spot for the radiator here. It's, it's right there. Uh, let's take a quick look. Look at this thing. It's definitely leaking. Probably out of the gasket here. Uh, definitely out the bottom. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised to see that the other one had a new filter in it. I was very surprised to see that the filter was actually in there. I, I didn't think it was going to be there. Uh, since I've still actually got the exhaust manifold open, not sure if you can see it down there, the exhaust is not fully connected. And also because I am a child, we're going to go ahead and start this thing up. Open header, open exhaust, open manifold do a quick couple little revs i wish it had a two-step 
you know, like the old Hans, bam, 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 you know, like that. This one doesn't have that. Uh, still not holding me back. I've got to start this thing open exhaust. Let's pick it up here as soon as we get this bad girl crunk. step after we started this thing with the open header is to go ahead and put the exhaust manifold back on there so let's go ahead and get that back and so now that that is all bolted up we are done with this project this is absolutely a project that you can do on your own this is roughly a two hour job if you were to take it to a shop so you're looking at $180 $90 per hour plus the parts you're probably looking at about a thousand dollars if you were to take this to a shop uh, and I did this for about 60 or so took me a little took me a few days due to the weather parts getting here things like that still took me a few days uh, thankfully I have another daily driver other than this so I didn't have to worry too much about it I will recommend you do get a new gasket kit if you are looking into this uh, I hope that helps Thank you much.